I'm so pleased to join all of you here alongside Arts, Ill Arts Alliance and the Illinois Arts Council. This is a cause that is close to my heart, as I know it is for each of you in this room. During my time as First Lady, I've been working to uplift Illinois artists and tell the story of our illustrious history through our makers and creators, and it has been incredibly rewarding. Some of Illinois' finest artists are showcased at the mansion, and I hope you will all join us at the reception tonight honoring the arts in Illinois. No one epitomizes the best of Illinois than Richard Hunt. He reflects a creativity, a creativity, a passion, and a care for community and public spaces that makes art accessible to all. He is truly an Illinois treasure. And in honor of Richard Hunt and all he has contributed to the arts and to his community, I am proud to join my husband in declaring today Richard Hunt Day in Illinois. Although Richard is unable to be with us today, I know he's here in spirit, and no one is more deserving of, of this than Richard, who is such a dear, wonderful artist, and more important than that, he is just an amazing, incredible human. And um, I would now like to introduce Avery R. Young, who is a multi-talented artist, to read the proclamation. Whereas Governor J.B. Prisca, MK, Prisca, are pleased to celebrate Richard Howard Hunt for his contributions to the arts in Illinois and across the globe. And whereas Richard Hunt was born in Chicago on September 12, 1935, and grew up on the south side of Chicago, he graduated from Chicago Public Schools and earned a scholarship from the Chicago Public School Art Society to attend the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, from which he received his BA in 1957. He later taught at both the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and the University of Illinois in Chicago. He served in the United States Army from 1958 to 1960, and on March 16, 1960, he was the first African American to be served at the Shut the Dough Woolworths lunch counter in San Antonio, Texas. Y'all <laughs> free, Richard Hunt! <laughs> Which was the first peaceful and voluntary lunch counter integration in the South. And whereas Richard Hunt's artistry is well recognized and honored, and his innovative techniques inspired by modern art, the struggle for freedom, and his African-American heritage. His artistic process includes welding and casting metals, including steel, aluminum, copper, and bronze to depict some of the nation's greatest heroes. He has memorialized some of the great figures in the history of the state of Illinois, such as abolitionist John Jones, Senator Albert Roberts, and the poet Carl Sandberg. His sculptures also commemorate historical events such as the slave trade, the Middle Passage, the Great Migration, and civil rights. And his sculpture, Hybrid Muse, was commissioned by the Illinois Arts Council Foundation, which serves as the governor's awards for the arts and became the logo for the Illinois Arts Council Agency. I am not here. <laughs> and where <am> I? <laughs> Richard Hunt, in 1957, while still a student at the art, oh, oh excuse me, <laughs> whereas Richard Hunt, in 1957, while still a student at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, had his sculpture, a Rothstein, acquired by the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and in 1962, was the youngest artist to exhibit in the Seattle's World's Fair. In 1968, he was the first African-American visual artist to serve on the National Council on the Arts. In 1971, he became the first African-American sculptor to be given a retrospective by the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And he has made the largest contribution to public arts in the United States with over 160 public sculptures located across 
24, that's my west side accent right there, 24 <laughs> states and Washington, D.C., because we all know about Washington, D.C. And <laughs> <laughs> he created the first monument to an African-American woman in Chicago, the Light of Truth, Ida B. Wells National Monument. And whereas in 1967, his sculpture play was the first public sculpture to be commissioned in the state of Illinois' public art program. And in the state of Illinois, Richard Hunt's art may be found in collections at the Lusab Museum of African American History, Elmhurst University Art Collection, the Illinois State Museum, and the Coline Museum of the Art, the Craner Art Museum, the Museum of Contemporary Art Chicago, the Nathan Manilow Sculpture Park, the Peoria Riverfront Museum, the Smart Museum of Art, the Universal. <laughs> 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 of Richard Hunt's gifts to art to the people of Illinois and to the nation do here I proclaim April 24th as Richard Hunt Day. <laughs> Avery, thank you so much for that. That was, that was amazing. And I, I'm just going to freestyle here for a second. I'm going to declare you an Illinois treasure. <laughs>